Oh, hi. Yeah, I just want to tell a story about why I think there's little to no hope for psychopaths. Uh, I won the, well, we, we won the Danish championship for high school chess. Uh, um, in 1992, and uh, then at the Norwegian championship, uh, we were in uh, up in north, north of Sweden, high up north. And um, then there was this guy who was on, my childhood friend. He was on the team, and at one point he had a stalemate position here. He was just an easy stalemate. He was playing for a stalemate. It was the only thing to play for in the position, playing against a female. And then he missed the easy stalemate. I mean. I don't remember, I, I was watching it and I don't remember what I said afterwards or anything, but uh, I just think thinking about this and, and knowing his personality, I, I mean, it's not that you can really tell from chess how a person is like or, or, or uh, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, so I, I think, uh, I think if I want to stay away to someone with queen, king, queen versus king, and but I mean this this episode, he seems sort of like quite psychopathic, you know. <laughs> I mean I'm glad he he contributed to us winning the Danish championship, but uh, it just seems narcissistic and psychopathic to. To not see that stalemate when it's the only thing to play for in the position. And then she actually goes into the, the stalemate. He just has to sacrifice the queen or something. And it's stalemate. And then he doesn't do that. You know, you know that, that just seems... I mean, obviously it was a... I mean, he just didn't see it. I don't know if he was playing for a win or what, but... Uh, uh, Thinking about that, it's just these, these kind of people you want to avoid, you know, really avoid. Um, yeah.